In this video, we're going to kick off our discussion of creating and editing feature lines. In doing so, we're going to first create two feature lines in this video. In order to create these feature lines, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get our surface displaying the way it needs to be displayed to work with it, uh, looking at contours rather than the slope analysis. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to drop down my surface, right click on my EG and select surface properties. I'm going to drop down and select my two and 10 background and then hit apply and hit okay. From here, we're gonna go ahead and navigate up to the home tab of the ribbon bar and move over into the create design section and drop into the feature line dropdown. Inside of the feature line dropdown, we have five op options available to us. The first option is create feature line, which is the generic create feature line command. It basically creates a feature line like a polyline, picking from point to point. Uh, create feature line from objects. Uh, you can create a feature line based on a polyline or a 3D polyline, lines and arcs, basically any standard CAD object. Then we have the create feature lines from alignments. Since we don't have any alignments, we can't use this command yet. Uh, but what it does is it takes a alignment and a profile and it merges them together it uses the horizontal data from the alignment and the vertical data from the profile and merges them to make one three-dimensional feature line. And then the fourth option we have is the create feature line from corridor option. Uh, we don't have a corridor, so we also can't use this option yet. But what it would do is it would take the data from a corridor inside Civil 3D and create feature lines based on certain data parameters inside of those corridors. The last option that we have is the create feature line from stepped offset. What this does is it takes a civil 3D entity, a feature line, uh, another polyline, a 3D polyline, and it steps an offset. It offsets the, the feature line and it also raises or lowers it based on a parameter that we specify in the command line. Uh, so to start this off, we're gonna go ahead and get into the create feature line command. Uh, what that does is it brings up the create feature line options window for how we're going to create this and what the specific parameters for that feature line are going to be. So what site it's going to be on. This is the first time that we're seeing a none site. So what a none site is, is it basically says we don't want this object to interact with any of the other objects that we have in any of the sites that we've created. So what you can see is anything that's above the site area, uh, you can place it on a none site. Um, basically, inside of the sites, you'll have options for alignments, profiles, parcels, and that kind of stuff. If it's not inside of the sites tab, and you have an option for it inside of this prospector window, it can be placed on a none site. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and have it on the none site because we don't know, maybe we might cross a feature line that's in the survey site, or it might be in the development site, we might cross a property line, and we don't want to have it interact with that property line. So we're going to go ahead and leave it on the none site. We're going to check yes to name this because it's going to give it a name of feature and then number. If you wanted to modify that name, you could go into click the edit the name template. And just like we did with the parcels, you could rename that name for this feature line. Moving on from here, we have our styles. We're going to leave it checked and have it display a basic feature line style. You can choose any of the available options or you can edit any of the available options or create a new one. It's just like any of the other styles inside of Civil 3D. You just have to navigate through the display options for that object. I'm gonna go ahead and use the basic feature line style. Then we move into the layer. So what layer would you like your feature line to be placed on? I'm gonna leave it in C topo feet because the option of use current layer is not acceptable for me right now because my current layer is zero. And then we aren't, creating it based off of an object that we're selecting inside the drawing. So that's why this option of use selected entity layer uh, is not available for us. It's grayed out. Same thing with the conversion options. We aren't selecting any objects inside of Civil 3D and converting them. So we have these options grayed out as erase existing entities, assign elevations, or weed points. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure, because I know that I want to work with nodes, I'm going to make sure I have nodes selected inside of my snap settings. And what Civil 3D is going to ask me to do while I'm creating this feature line is to specify my start point. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to be dealing with this top of bank that we know didn't get created properly from our survey import. And I'm going to go to my first point 
and hover over it and go to the node of that point. And when I go to the node of that point, Civil 3D prompts me, once I've clicked on it, to specify an elevation. So I can specify any elevation I want. I can also accept the elevation that the node of that point was on, which Civil 3D knows is 190.904. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and accept that node elevation. I'm gonna move on to the next point and I'm gonna hover over it and select the node. What Civil 3D is now going to ask me, because I have a previous point and I can get a direction and an elevation and a line going between those two points, I can now specify a grade, a slope, a difference, and a transition between those two points. I can also still specify an elevation for that point, and I can say that point can be part of based off of a surface. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to accept the calculated grade between the two points because Civil 3D is using the previous point's elevation and the node of the point that I just clicked on to come up with a predefined calculated grade of negative 1.12. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and accept that. Then I'm going to move on to selecting the node of this point here and accepting the grade between those two. I'm gonna move on to the next point and hit enter and so on and so forth until I get to the end of all of these points which case after I get to the end of these points, I am going to hit enter one more time to get out of the draw feature line command. So now I've created a feature line with each vertice defined by a point along this top of bank. So that is the generic create feature line command. The next option I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a feature line based on an object. The objects that I can create feature lines off of are lines, arcs, and polylines. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a polyline. And I'm gonna go between the edge of this parcel. I'm basically creating a polyline that runs along this property boundary here, because I know that there are uh, these two parcels here that have a slope on them. And maybe later what I'm gonna go ahead and do is level these off. So I wanna use a feature line to then later create a grading group and a new surface that's gonna give me volume that I can bring into this site to fill in that area and create a graded slope through here. So what I'm doing is I'm converting this polyline into an arc, and then I am moving it to be perpendicular to this face of this property boundary, and then I now have a line running along the top of that property boundary. I'm gonna go into my feature line, I'm gonna create feature line from object, and I'm going to select that polyline, and then I'm going to hit enter. I can select multiple polylines that I wanna turn into feature lines, but for this case, I'm only doing this one polyline. So again, I have the option of what side I wanna place it on. I'm going to place it on the none site. I am going to give my feature line a name and a style. I'm going to leave it on the C Topo feet layer. I'm going to erase my existing entity because I don't want to have that polyline in there anymore. The only reason I had that polyline was to create this feature line. I am not going to assign any elevations because we will do that later. And because I know that this polyline is based off of two points, I don't need to weed any points. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. What that does is that creates my feature line in the location of my polyline with the two nodes and they will have whatever elevation my polyline was at. 